Time now for a fantasy football must starts and must sits for week 15. With quarterbacks, the must starts, Ryan Tannehill, Jimmy Garoppolo, Jameis Winston, Tom Brady, and Kyler Murray. Our success rate for quarterbacks, 68.3%. That's about 8.2 out of 12 that we get correct each week. And our sleeper of the week, Baker Mayfield. Mayfield has been disappointing the last two weeks, but consider this to be a bounce back game against a bad secondary. Arizona has given up at least 17 fancy points to quarterbacks in all but three games this season. The must sits, Matt Ryan, Mitch Trubisky, Kirk Cousins, Andy Dalton, and Phillip Rivers. And our bust of the week, Josh Allen. We appreciate what Allen did to get everyone into the fantasy playoffs, but his schedule late in the season is pretty bad. Pittsburgh is allowing on average 14 fancy points a game to mobile quarterbacks. That includes Kyler Murray, Russell Wilson, and Lamar Jackson. Allen is not worth the risk. Running backs, the must starts. Nick Chubb, Philip Lindsay, DeAndre Washington, if Josh Jacobs were to miss another game. If he doesn't, obviously sit DeAndre Washington. James White and Jordan Howard should be back in that lead back role. Our success rate for running back 63.9%. That's about 7.7 out of 12 each week. And our sleeper of the week, Ronald Jones. This matchup is pretty good, but the volume makes him no better than a flex play. After the Bucks were settled on letting Jones be the lead back, they went back to a committee approach with Peyton Barber. Jones is the better receiver, which makes him the better play than Barber. The must sits, Bo Scarborough, Joe Mixon, LaShawn McCoy, Marlon Mack, and Adrian Peterson. And our bust of the week, Devontae Freeman. Freeman scored his first touchdown last week, but now faces a 49ers defense that hasn't allowed a touchdown to a running back since week 10. Freeman is worth a roster spot for next week, but keep him on the bench for now. Wide receivers, the must starts. Jarvis Landry, D.D. Westbrook, Golden Tate, Marvin Jones, and Terry McLaurin. Our success rate for wide receivers, 57.3%. That's about 6.9 out of 12 each week. And our sleeper of the week, Christian Kirk. Did you know that in 2019, Kirk has more targets than Devontae Adams, Tyler Lockett, and Stephon Diggs. He's the go-to for Kyler Murray, and regardless of how good or bad the matchup is, Kirk will always get checkdowns at the very least, making him valuable in PPR leagues. The must-sits, John Brown, Tyrell Williams, Curtis Samuel, James Washington, and Tyler Boyd. And our bust of the week, Anthony Miller. He's been a blessing for fantasy owners in recent games, but he could start to see a decline from here on out. Green Bay has been fairly decent against wide receivers the last three weeks. Though they've given up a touchdown in every game during that span, they've only allowed an average eight receptions a game to all receivers combined. With Allen Robinson in the mix, there's not much upside for Miller. For tight ends, the must starts. Darren Waller, Noah Fant, Tyler Higby, Dallas Goddard, and keep an eye on Jared Cook. He's in the concussion protocol. He doesn't play till Monday night. So if you don't know his status by Sunday morning, I wouldn't take the risk. Take him out of your lineup, put someone else in your tight end spot. And our sleeper of the week, David Njoku. Forgot about him, didn't you? The talented tight end is now back in the Browns lineup. The Cardinals are so bad against tight ends that at this point, if you don't have a tight end, just stream whoever plays the Cardinals. The must sits. Mike Gesicki, Jason Witten, Kyle Rudolph, Vance McDonald, and Tyler Eifert. And our bust of the week, Jacob Hollister. Hollister may not show it on the stat sheet, but he's a big part of that Seahawks offense. He'll be big next week against the Cards, but stash him on the bench for this week. In the last six weeks, only one tight end has caught more than three receptions against the Panthers. Kickers, the must starts. Matt Prater, Robbie Gold, Aldrich Rosas, Austin Seibert, and Jason Sanders. And our sleeper of the week, Jason Myers. Myers is rostered in only 17% of ESPN leagues. This is your heads up to add him for the rest of the playoffs. Myers has the best schedule out of any kicker the next two weeks. Defense and special teams, the must starts. The Bills, 49ers, Ravens, Patriots, and the Seahawks. Our success rate for defense, 62.5%. That's about 7.5 out of 12 each week. And our sleeper of the week, the Philadelphia Eagles. No, the Eagles defense isn't that good, but when the matchup is right, they look like superstars. Since Dwayne Haskins took over as quarterback, the Redskins have scored more than 20 points in just one game this season. The must sits, the Falcons, Cowboys, Rams, Colts, and the Chargers. And our bust of the week, the Chicago Bears. The Bears defense does not have the same intimidation factor like they had last season. 
Both their run and pass defenses have failed to contain opposing players in recent weeks. They won't be relevant next week either against the Chiefs, so go ahead and drop them. As always, be sure to like this video and leave a comment down below with your fantasy football questions. It's the time, you're deep in the playoffs, we all need advice, we all need help, let's help each other out to win a fantasy football title. Also, another way that you can reach out and ask questions is to hit me up on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The username for all three is at time to football. Besides that, thank you guys so much for watching this video and best of luck in week 15.